All right. Welcome, 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 everybody, to the Healthy Home Reno. I'm super excited about this class. Um, it was 15 years ago that I joined Young Living, and <laughs> I remember being like kind of overwhelmed as soon as I started learning all of the toxins that were lurking like everywhere. <laughs> it became kind of overwhelming to me to think like, oh my gosh, how am I going to change everything out? And it's it's funny to look back now because it happened quicker than I thought it would. And now I, I have such an awareness when I purchase products, um, making sure the ingredients are super clean. So regardless of where you are at in this journey, maybe you're just beginning and your eyes are just kind of being opened to all of the crud um, that is out there in most products, or maybe you are, you know, far along on this journey and you already have really like cleaned everything out. I asked in our lifestyle group um, earlier this week, like, what have you already started switching out? And it was really fun to see how many people have already switched out their cleaners, have already switched out their lotions and their shampoos and things like that. So I'm really excited to have Shannon Waldron here teaching this class tonight, because not only is she an educator by trade, uh, we actually... It's funny, we taught at the same elementary school for a couple of years. We weren't really friends then. So we knew who each other was, but, but our paths didn't cost much. Um, we taught different grades. And so we didn't really know each other well. And so it's so fun because Young Living really has brought us together. And now she um, is my, my son's guitar teacher as well. She taught me guitar for a little bit until I quit too. Um, but she is, she is definitely a teacher. And the other fun thing to know about Shannon before she gets started is that she has actually been doing some real home renovations. So I think it's so timely that you're teaching the healthy home reno because it's been really fun to watch on social media some of the cool things you've been doing with your house. So without further ado, I would like to introduce my wonderful friend Shannon, who is going to be teaching tonight. And Shannon, I want to say this. I will interrupt you like twice because we're going to do a couple giveaways. Um, so I'll, I'll try to find like good stopping places to just do a quick giveaway real quick, all right? That sounds great. If you can just set up the screen sharing capability for me and then I will get that up and going. But in the meantime, I would love to know where each of you are watching from and where you live. I'm gonna start off by telling you a little bit more about myself um, just so you can kind of get to know me for those of you that don't know me. Um, but basically I am born and raised in Arizona. And it's super fun because my family um, felt called by God to move to Minnesota. My husband is a pastor, so I'm a pastor's wife as well. And so I had a huge extreme transition from one extreme weather to another. So I would love to know in the comments, where are you watching from? Where are you from? Um, as I tell you just a little bit about myself. So as Andrea said, yes, I teach music. I teach voice, piano, and guitar lessons, but I'm also a mama of three boys. And so my house can be a little crazy at times and get a little, a little crazy <laughs> and loud, um, but that's okay. That's why my oils come in. So if you hear like loud noises, March Madness is playing and they're upstairs and who knows what's going to happen. <laughs> so, um, but I also love volleyball. Those are the things that I love to do in my time to get out of the house and have some girl time and have some me time. Um, music and Jesus make up a huge part of who I am. Um, and I just am so thankful to be here sharing with you guys tonight about the Healthy Home Reno. So like Andrea said, I just recently did, I don't know if I can technically call it a Reno because it's more of a facelift in our kitchen um, since Christmas. And but it was, you know, painting walls and painting doors and painting my island and the cabinets, that kind of thing. But I, it wasn't quite a reno where we like gutted everything and started over. We did that in the bathroom a while ago, and that was definitely a whole different ballgame. <laughs> but sometimes I know like when we think of renos, that's what we think of, right? We think of, oh my goodness, those are a huge thing to tackle. I'm overwhelmed just thinking about it. Maybe it ends up costing more money than you're used to or that you planned on. Maybe it takes more time. And sometimes that overwhelm can kind of paralyze us into doing anything. But when you see the end results, <laughs> when I see my kitchen, it all was so, so worth it. And this healthy home reno that I'm going to be sharing with you tonight, you guys, I believe with my whole heart that every single one of you 
needs to do this at some point, um, the sooner the better for the well being of you and your family. And I promise you, at the end of tonight, I'm going to help you be able to feel confident in what is a healthy home reno. <laughs> How do I do that? Why do I need to do that? And when is the right timing to do that? So as you probably have been able to figure out, I am not a doctor. I'm not a pharmacist. I'm not even a home contractor. <laughs> um, I'm not a designer, any of that. I'm simply a mama of three boys who found myself um, about four and a half, five years ago, um, desperate, desperate because my middle son, I'm already feeling the emotions fly. So hopefully they'll go away. Um, but my, my middle son, he was getting sick all the time and my mama heart was weary and he was so weary of being sick. It was almost every other week, every two weeks for a season. And, um, it was just hard. He was missing out on school field trips on going to the Suns game with my husband and his, and his you know team basketball team um, he was missing out on Easter with the family and Easter egg hunts and my mama heart just got to a place where I said enough is enough I'm tired of being told it's just a virus it just has to take its course I knew in my gut I knew in my whole being that there was something else out there that I didn't know that I could try um, that I wanted to look into to help him because I was tired. I was so tired of the struggle. And so this healthy home that we're talking about is a big piece of what that is. So I wanna start by just talking about home, right? When you think of the word home, what's the first thing that comes to mind? I want you guys to write in the chat, what comes to mind? What do you want your home to be? I know some of us, it's a safe space, maybe a place for creating memories, spending time with family and friends, relaxing, maybe a safe place where you can truly feel like you can be yourself. Well, a lot of times for our homes, we want it to be all of those things. And so we focus on the appearance so that it, it has that feel to it. So we do a home reno, right? We, for me, I brightened up my kitchen and I wanted to make it brighter and more inviting. And a lot of times when we think of a reno, we think of that physical appearance. Um, and it's important to, to focus on that. Maybe some of you might be going for cozy, comfy. Maybe some of you um, want bougie, which is a new word for me. I'm trying to be hip. <laughs> uh, maybe whatever you're going for, right? We want our home to be that place of comfort. Well, a healthy home reno is focused more on below the surface, below the appearance. It's what's in your cabinets that is contributing to the health of your family. It's creating a space that is a safe place for your family's health, not just a safe place for you to be comfortable and it be a comfort zone. Um, and so when we think of health, right, we want it to be a healthy home. Healthy just means free of disease. Well, how many of you or someone you know has had any of the things on this list that is on here? These are all things that are the opposite of free of disease, <laughs> right? Um, some of them are symptoms, some of them are actual illnesses. I think we all can agree something on there we can relate to or someone we know can relate to. And these are all, these are all symptoms. And I want to explain it in a way that somebody has told me once that has stuck with me and I loved it so much. I want to share that with you tonight. Um, we want to think of these symptoms at a, as our body's check engine light. So in your car, when your check engine light comes on, your, um, you know, it, it's trying to tell you that something under the hood that you cannot see is wrong. It's like flashing lights, like, whoa, attention, pay attention. I'm trying to help protect you from it getting worse and causing an even bigger problem down the road. Well, your body's symptoms, it's the same thing. It's your body trying to say something is out of alignment something is imbalanced, something is off. And so I wanna talk with you guys about what are these two key fundamentals that contribute to the lack of health, that contribute to disease or illness or symptoms or the things that you see on the screen. So the first one is nutritional deficiencies. You guys, our world has changed. 
our environment has changed, our soils have changed, and studies are just showing that it's just not, it's not even possible to get the amount of nutrients that our body needs for optimal health from even just eating whole foods. So even the healthiest of diets, there it's not enough because of the changes that have happened in our air, in our soils, and all of those things. And so this is one of the biggest things that contributes to a lack of health. So when we talk about a healthy home reno, it's so important to know what, like what makes up a healthy home. And so I, I want to share my story. When I was a kid, I had the worst, I'm going to stay compliant here. I had the worst respiratory struggles and um, really all of it, sinuses, um, breathing, all of that kind of stuff. It was a big struggle for me where I was on prescriptions my entire childhood, even steroids at some times, and it was a struggle. And so by the time that I got to college, it had gotten so bad that my professors would pull me aside and they would say, I can see that you are struggling so much. Have you tried this? Have you tried this? And for me, it was like, I have already tried all of those and none of them work for me anymore. And it wasn't until one of my best friends had started kind of sharing with me a little bit about the quality of supplements and things that are out there. And when I realized the difference between the stuff I was buying at the store <laughs> And good quality supplements, you guys, after three months of, of feeding my body the nutrients that I was deficient in, I saw a huge difference in those symptoms that I had really struggled with my entire life. And so that first piece is so, so important. Tonight, we're going to focus more on the second piece, but I wanted to make sure that I shared this part with you because it is so important to dive into for your family's well-being so that your home is a healthy home. The second key fundamental piece to staying healthy and to having that life of health is to not allow an overabundance of toxins to be in your body. Almost everything that contributes to these symptoms on this list and to the things that come from those symptoms long-term, they, they are accounted to two, those, these two things. And if you think about it, 100 years ago, <laughs> um, what were people dying from 100 years ago? very, very different from what it is today. And a lot of this is just contributed to the, these things that the, the soils are different, the pollution is different, our products that we're using are different. Think about Bible days, <laughs> even more than 100 years ago in the Bible days, people lived to be hundreds of years old. And what were they doing different? Well, they had plants from soil that wasn't depleted, they didn't have the pollution that we have now from our modern day conveniences that do come at a cost. And all of this stuff has accumulated. We have instant foods that are made synthetically in labs. We have all of these things that the combination of all of those is really making a big difference on our overall health. And so this is why having a healthy home is so, so important. The average American home is filled with harmful toxins and the familiar products that are on store shelves are actually mostly filled with lots of harmful things in them. They're hiding in like your cleaners, your laundry products, your shampoo, your conditioner, your air fresheners, like all of that stuff, your body wash. And it has gotten so bad that a recent study actually found over 200 chemicals in a newborn baby's cord blood. I don't want that for your kids. <laughs> I don't want that for my kids. I don't want that for my grandkids someday. Something has to change. Um, even in the products, once the baby's born, like 90% of bubble bath and baby wipes and shampoos and all of that, they, they have found toxic chemicals in them. And you're probably thinking, well, how is that possible? I don't know if I believe that. I encourage you to go research it. Don't take my word for it. Go research it. But the way it's possible is because the regulations that the government has is so low that it allows a lot of things that other countries don't. Over in Europe, over 1,300 substances are banned. And out of those 1,300, only 11 of them are banned here in the US. 
I'm sorry, but if it's not safe for Europeans, it's not safe for us. <laughs> and why don't they require more? It's so, so um, disheartening for me. Um, and I, I don't know where you stand on things, but I know for me and a lot of people, um, these last couple of years, maybe we've lost a little of trust in that the government really has our best interests in mind. And this is one small um, other indicator for me that I wanted to know what was in my products. I wanted to learn what do I wanna stay away from and where can I get good quality products so that I'm not contributing to the detriment of my family's health in years to come. And so when, you know, when they, we have this really small amount in our shampoo that the government says is safe and okay, um, maybe that's not gonna do a lot of damage, but then when you add a little bit in your hairspray or a little bit in your candles or air fresheners, and then you add a little bit more from your foods that you're eating and then the food dye and it accumulates in our body to be an amount that is greater than our body can get rid of. It can't keep up. And we think about Bible days as compared to today. In the Bible days, they didn't have all of those synthetic things, those man-made ingredients that are just have come out of our own conveniences and to make life easier for us. But that that accumulates into our body over time. It's this process called bioaccumulation. And it's basically where you have an amount of harmful toxins that is coming into your body at a faster rate than your body knows what to do to get rid of them. And that creates unhealthy cells in our bodies. And we don't want that. That is what leads to a lot of these symptoms and the things long-term that those initial symptoms keep progressing. And when we don't listen to those initial symptoms, sometimes they then, you know, turn into a bigger symptom and our body's trying so hard to get our attention. And we don't want to ignore those. We don't want to ignore that check engine light. We want to take care of it now so that it doesn't keep progressing and become something that is so much damage. It's not, it's not fixable. And so some of these things that are in products are also endocrine, endocrine disruptors. Um, and basically that means that they are synthetic chemicals that mimic estrogen in our bodies. And that just causes our body to be all out of whack. All out of whack is not good. And not just for the typical hormone things, right? Not just puberty, mood, fertility, or balanced hormones, but it affects our overall health. And it helps us to regulate our heart rate, our metabolism, our mental and emotional wellness, and even our sleep quality. And so it's really important that we um, start learning little bit by little bit what we can do to not continue to choose to expose these things into our houses, for our kids, for our families, so that we really can have that healthy lifestyle. One of the things that I do want to caution you of too, I know sometimes we go to the store and we think, oh, look, this one has tea tree in it. <laughs> and we think, oh, it looks so clean. It looks so natural. Oh yeah, look at that. It says, well, you know, plant materials are included or plant all natural. Um, but when you read the fine print, sometimes it adds the word, no synthetics added or something else or the tea tree, who knows if it's made in a lab and it's not really natural. And so there's just so much greenwashing that goes on green. We think of green as like natural, save the earth, like all of that, right? It's healthier for you. But 95% of the products that are out there have been known when tested to be greenwashing, where they're not actually as natural and pure as they say they are. I know for me, before I found Young Living, I was using the natural company. Um, they had cleaning products and laundry soap. And when I started using Young Living, I started kind of diving more into like, well, what is it? What are in these, you know? And what I found was when the word fragrance was on the back, I actually tried calling the company to ask them, what, are, what is your fragrance? <laughs> What's included in that? And you guys, they wouldn't tell me. They, they just wanted me to just trust that what they said was good and it was natural and pure. And for me, like I wasn't okay with that, especially because the smell didn't smell like oils to me. It didn't smell like natural things. It smelled like the laundry detergent that I got from the store all the years. And so you have to be really cautious to be able to do that. Um, to know that the stuff that you're using and you're choosing is actually not harming your family little bit by little bit over time compounded. And so 
I don't know about you, but when I was learning about this at this point, I was like, oh my goodness, like what? I don't even know where to begin this. Like, this is too much. Like I, this is so much to read all the labels and what ingredients are good and what are not and all of that. And so my goal for tonight is to give you three simple steps to be able to help you to be able to start accomplishing a healthy home reno for you and for your family. So here are the three steps. The first step that we're going to focus on is to identify those red flag ingredients. I'm not going to go too much into this today, um, but I would love for you to take a screenshot of this next slide so that you can kind of I mean, even save this image on your phone. So that when you're at the store, if you are getting something, you can check the label for these things. You don't have to have it memorized and it's not overwhelming. But this list is a really great place to start on, you know, go into your cabinet when this is over and look to see if some of the things in your cabinet has some of these ingredients in there. Um, and look at this chart to see what are the things that it's linked to. If you're a researcher, yes, by all means, get on that computer and do your research and look up these things and look up the effects of the ingredients and, and know what you're inviting into your home. So much of the harm that is out there, we can't, we can't, we don't have control over it. Like pollution, we can do our part to reduce pollution, but we, there's no going away from that. Um, but the products that we invite into our home, we have control over that. We get to be the gatekeeper of our homes and make sure that we have products that are pure and are natural and that are actually bringing benefits to our health um, rather than slowly and slowly harming them over time. So hopefully I've given you enough time to take a screenshot of that slide. So identifying the things first, that, that's the first step. The second step is to replace those toxic products with safe and effective alternatives. So for me, I was so overwhelmed by reading labels and doing all the things. It was like, oh my word, they're telling me I have to read every label of every product and then read everything on my food and check for these ingredients. And I was like, ah, I don't have time for that. <laughs> and it always makes me think of that video. Please tell me you've seen it. It's a, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> It's such, oh, it cracks me up so much, but nobody's got time to do all that. Like we don't have time for that. So unless you're a researcher who loves to do that, I'm giving you the easy button. The easy button is when you find products that you know the quality and the integrity of, you don't have to be a master label reader on every single thing that's in your home. You can switch it out with things where you just know, I know that these products from this company are pure. And I know their standard and I choose to trust that. I don't know about you, but I want products that I don't have to question that they're secretly hiding things in there that actually is causing harm to my family. And so for me, I have chosen to trust most of the things that are in my home to Young Living products. It was the easy button. It was so much easier than going to the store and looking at every label on everything that I had to buy. And so here are some of the reasons why I love Young Living and why I love their integrity that is behind their products. Um, and I kind of want to give you an analogy. If we were to think of like good quality fruits and vegetables, like we would probably choose between just regular produce or organic. And I mean, how many of you, if you were trying to be health conscious, you would choose with organic over just regular stuff, right? Like, I think we'd all raise our hand. Organic is like the gold standard, right? Well, in order for produce to be or considered organic, basically the soil is free of harmful chemicals, synthetics, pesticides for five years. It's pretty good, right? <laughs> That's the gold standard for produce. Well, <laughs> The standard for young living is not only, yes, five years, all the soils are free, free of all of that nasty stuff that we don't want, but they choose willingly, nobody makes them, that their soils are 50 years, no pesticides, no synthetic chemicals. And to me, that just was like, oh my goodness, that is a huge difference. That's 10 times as cautious <laughs> and as strict as is the quality that they want in their products. And I loved, I loved that. Um, and here's just a few other things that made me feel confident that Young Living was the company that I wanted to trust for my family's wellness and for their health. 
Um, some things I love is they do the weeding by hand. Sometimes they even get sheep to come in and help with the weeding because they, they don't want to eat the, um, the oil plants because of the scent, but they will eat the weeds. And so they are so creative in ways that they do this where they're not using those harmful things. They even control pests with essential oils sometimes. Um, they do continual testing of wa the water and the soil and the air at, at our farms where we get our ingredients from for our essential oils that are in all of our products for our home. Um, they just do so much stuff. They work with 50, over 50 trained scientists that are on staff to make sure that our products are the best they possibly can be and that they are safe for you and your family. And I know for me, that's the gold standard that I want. <laughs> and so um, when we think about starting to create this healthy home for our families, we're going to start thinking about ditching and switching. Erin did a fantastic job two weeks ago of talking about ditching and switching in these specific categories, kind of the bigger picture. I'm going to really focus today on your home um, and especially cleaning products and things like that. And so when we are planning to do a healthy home reno, it's so much easier to do that if we choose one thing at a time, whether it's one room at a time, whether it's one product at a time. Um, it, it just, it can be so overwhelming if it's like, okay, we're just gonna like clean house and start over. And so I don't recommend that. That's not how I did it for me. And uh, the way that I did it was in a way that for me was not overwhelming. And it was little pieces um, gradually over time as I did that. And so um, the first thing that I wanna talk about is the thing that I think everyone needs, no matter what room you start with, um, no matter what things you do, um, it is the thieves cleaner that we're going to do. But before I do, I just want to remind you, these are kind of the steps that I chose to take when I was getting started with my healthy home reno. And um, I had to decide first what area I was going to begin with. Again, that's one room, one you know section, whether it's home cleaning or um, whether it's your personal care products, maybe it's your supplements, whatever that is, you got to decide first, what, what area are you going to start with? What's your highest need? And where do you want to begin? And then you get to set your budget for what's my month's budget for my reno, right? This, this month, I'm going to work on the kitchen. What's my budget for it? And then you've got to get your materials. You got to get all the things ordered, go to Amazon. It's like going to Home Depot, right? Getting all your materials and all your supplies. And then you just choose your demo day to start beginning, whether it's a, a day to do DIYs or it's the day you're going to start looking through your cabinets and getting rid of the, the old things that you don't want and start replacing them and creating the DIYs and putting them together for, for what's new. So here is this Thieves Household Cleaner. It I'm going to stop you. I'm going to stop oh, yes. you. Yay. Yes. This is so, so good, Shannon. I am loving it. And I know, I know people who are on here right now where this is like they're new to Young Living or they're just kind of learning about all the toxins. They are getting so much value right now. Am I right? Let us know in the chat. Are you getting so much value from this class right now? All right. So we want to give something away. We're going to do um, a couple of $20 product credits so that you can get started on your home reno. Um, so let's do a $20 product credit giveaway right now. This is going to go to one of you. you. All you need to do is comment right now. If you have like completely done your reno, say reno done. And if you are just starting, we want to know what room are you going to start with? What room are you going to start doing your reno in? All right. So go ahead and put that in the chat. And then next time I come back, I'll announce a winner and we'll do one more. All right, go ahead. All right, so Thieves Cleaner is kind of the thing that no matter where you start, you want to add this to your materials that you're going to need. And so Thieves Cleaner, it is the easy button for replacing all of your cleaners, right? Most of us have a window cleaner. We have a toilet bowl cleaner. Like we have all the things, right? Well, I'm about to save you a lot of money. <laughs> you can replace all of those with this one bottle of Thieves Household Cleaner. It is a concentrate, and so I use it to make my all-purpose cleaner. I use it to make so many things, which we're gonna get into all those, and I'm gonna share all my secret recipes that I've found with you as well. Um, so you're gonna wanna get that camera ready to take some screenshots because they're kind of mixed in all throughout here. But you want to add this to your first month's plan, whatever, wherever you choose to start. Um, 
I know some of you are like, what is this Steve's household cleaner? Like, how, like, okay, if I'm going to switch to natural, how do I know, how do I know that it's going to work? And so I want to tell you a little bit of history about where our whole thieves, anything came from. We have a whole thieves cleaning line, household line, but it, the center of that and the core of that all stems from our thieves essential oil. So um, when you guys think of thieves, those of you that are brand new, right? It is actually robbers. <laughs> I know sometimes we're like, wait, thieves, what do you mean? What kind of thieves, you know? Um, but it is actually like the robbers kind of thieves. And Basically, there is a legend from a 15th century French thieves who formulated this special combination of botanicals that were used while they were choosing to rob the dead and the dying. This was in the time of the plague. It was a blend of clove, lemon, cinnamon bark, rosemary, and eucalyptus. And um, basically, they were doing all of this robbing, all of these people who were, who were dying, and they were okay. <laughs> they weren't getting sick. And so when they finally got caught, they were asked to like, how in the world were you staying healthy? And um, they shared to lessen their sentence. And when Gary Young heard about this, he decided to make our Thieves Essential Oil blend um, that has the same similar things in it to really help with that immune system that helped them so much. And so not only does it help with boosting the immune system and just supporting that, also your respiratory system, but it's also got really powerful cleaning benefits. And so that is why you can trust and have confidence that knowing that that thieves cleaner is really making a difference in your home. So I wanted to show you some testimonial pictures of people who have used thieves cleaner to clean some things in their home. So the first one is in their oven. All they did was sprayed thieves cleaner throughout it and they sprinkled some baking soda on top of the thieves cleaner, let it sit for a little while and then wiped it and probably scrubbed in a few spots, I'm sure, um, but wiped it clean. And you can see in that before and after picture that it actually does a really awesome, awesome job. Um, the middle one is a shower that hadn't been tended to in a long time. Um, and then the last one is a stove top, a gas stove top. And I've, I can't tell you how many times I've had friends um, send me a video of their before and after when they're using their cleaner on things in their home. So you can be, be assured that it's going to work wonders for you. You can even use it in your carpet shampooer. Um, the Thieves Cleaner is in so many of the DIYs that I'm going to share today. And so um, it is what are your must-haves that you're going to want? Um, but this picture, it kind of shows um, this, this woman, she had her rug rolled up, was getting ready to get rid of it, realized she's never tried her Thieves Cleaner and her carpet shampoo and thought, hey, I'm going to try it on that rug before I get rid of it and throw it out. And she ended up keeping it <laughs> because it cleaned it so much that it looks like almost a brand new rug. And you can see in the picture how dirty that water is afterwards. Um, and, and that is just with Thieves Cleaner in, in her cleaning solution. And so it does wonders for so many things in your home. Here's the, some more cleaners um, or recipes that you can use the cleaner for. So if you don't have this, take a screenshot of that picture right there. You can use it for a mattress cleaner, for your glass and your mirror, um, the tile in your bathroom, hardwood floors. I use it for mopping. I put it in my steam mop. Um, it's just, it's wonderful and you totally need it. So that's the first thing that you're going to want to get no matter where you start. <laughs> So when I was doing my, my reno in my home, that was kind of the easiest place to start in addition to fragrance. Um, I was the girl, which I'm sad to admit now, but I was the girl who was burning candles all, all the time, nonstop. Um, like some of my students that came to my house, even though I used to always diffuse candles and then they would ask me like, what are you doing now? It's different <laughs> when, when I started learning. Um, but whether it's those plugins or whether it is candles, there's so much in those that are harmful to us. Just fragrance alone has so many things that can be hidden in that under the word fragrance <laughs> um, that is not good for us. Uh, if artificial synthetic, it's not good for us. Um, and candles, they, a lot of times in the wick even has lead in that. And then you're burning that into your home. Um, and a lot of times the wax as well as paraffin wax. And that also releases chemicals as you burn those candles. I was totally one who my mother-in-law still has it in her house. 
I got her for Christmas one year, a gold Canyon candle that had our personalized picture on the front, <laughs> our family picture. And she still has it. Thankfully she's never burned it. Cause I feel really badly that I gave her something that's harmful to her family, um, to her and my father-in-law, but thankfully they haven't burned it, but switching out fragrance is kind of the next thing that I personally chose to do. That is a really great place to start for a couple reasons. One, because that's what fills your whole home that you breathe in and what you breathe in affects your body and your wellness. But also in addition to breathing in from diffusing or just breathing, um, breathing it in, which here is another recipe before I say the next thing, take a screenshot of that one too, if you don't have it. Um, these are some recipes of um, diffuser blends that are all the oils that come in a bundle that is the cheapest way to get them. And it's how I chose to get started. So there are some recipes for you. You can make your house smell good but it also gives you health benefits. It's not just making your house smell good rather than making your house smell good and harming your family's health and all of your visitors who come. Diffusing essential oils, pure essential oils, not from the grocery store. <laughs> um, it really makes a big difference, not only to make your house smell good, but for your overall wellness. Here's some other fun diffuser recipes. These ones are more for those of you who are not brand new. Maybe you have a bigger collection of oils that you have collected, but I wanted to give you lots of DIY fun things to keep in your repertoire. I like always save these screenshots in a file on my phone. You could even have a file for, um, you know, healthy home reno and just keep all of these DIY recipes and diffuser blends that I'm sharing today in there. So that's easy for you to access later on. The pumpkin spice one is so good. One of my favorites that's on there. Um, but also here are some of the ones that I have been loving this time of year is spring diffuser blends. I have not tried one yet that I don't love. <laughs> Even my son, we tried spring break at the beginning of spring break. And my son was like, oh, that smells so good. That smells like lotion. <laughs> and so these ones smell so, so good. So keep these in your repertoire because it's always fun to change it up what you're diffusing in your home. But switching that out for healthier alternatives is another um, really easy way to just get one bundle and be able to switch so many things out in your home. But in, in addition to just diffusing those oils, you can also use them topically for different needs, for health needs. Um, this, these are roller blends. And when I, when I make my roll-ons, I just, I ordered these off Amazon. I, I, my favorite brand is like Vivaplex or something. Um, but I order these, I put in however many drops for whatever recipe I want. And then I take my coconut oil that I got off Amazon that has this really awesome cap um, that fits perfectly into my roll-ons and that you just put the oils in and then you top it off and fill it to the top with your carrier oil. And it's super easy. I can make these in like a minute and a half. <laughs> um, so not only are you helping with getting rid of that fragrance in your home, but you're getting things using the same things, right? How many of you like to kill two birds with one stone? Like I totally do. I like to kill like 10 birds with one stone <laughs> and I'm frugal. So I want to do it in the cheapest ways I possibly can. And so this, all of these oils, this oil bundle is going to be the best way for you to do that to where you can do all of the things, 10, do the 10 birds with the one thing. <laughs> um, but in addition to that, some of them are vitality oils that you can even use. Like for me, I have a lot of digestion struggles because of the amount of prescriptions and stuff that I took my whole childhood, um, leading into my college years. And so I do use digest and peppermint all the time. And I'll sometimes put it in my water or put it in a capsule. And so that, that one choice, right. Can, can help you switch out so many things in your home. You can even make sprays with these, um, with the essential oils that you get. So take a screenshot of those two. Um, there's a linen spray, a room spray. There's a bathroom spray, which everyone needs. <laughs> so these are going to be really beneficial for you to use as you switch out those fragrances. You can make all of these things with that. Super awesome. When I make those, I just get a glass bottle. I put the oils in. I fill it with water and put a pinch of sea salt and then it's ready. Sometimes I shake them before I spray them, but it's so easy. I can make these in about, I don't know, a minute or less. Um, super easy to do these. Um, so here are some general household cleaning 
the kind of just a, a bigger um, spectrum of things. So a dusting spray, um, a trash can refresh. Um, there's just so many recipes that you can use once you get your oils and then a few other things. And the other ingredients are things that you probably already have in your house, like hydrogen peroxide is in that DIY natural bleach alternative, um, baking soda, like I think we all have baking soda, you can even make a carpet refresh um, and put it in a shaker bottle and just shake it on your carpet and let it sit and then vacuum it up. There's just so many things that you can do just with that thieves household cleaner and some oils, which is really, really awesome and an easy way to get started. Um, one other area that you might choose, whether you choose this first or down the road, um, is laundry. Did you guys know that dryer sheets are one of the most toxic things in your house? And it's not just because of the fragrance that's on them, but it's also because of the chemicals that are on there to reduce your static. And so maybe a laundry room is the room you choose to start with. Um, one of the things that I love is this laundry soap. This laundry detergent, it is not a very big bottle. I'll put it next to my head so you can see a comparison. When I first got it, I was like, oh my word, that is tiny. And I paid more than I normally pay for my laundry detergent. <laughs> and then my good friend, Rachel told me this trick. You're supposed to dilute it. <laughs> and that's kind of how a lot of our products are for a couple of reasons. One reason is so that they're not making more of these plastic bottles and they're trying to help save our earth. Another reason is if they were to dilute it ahead of time for us, then we're paying for water. Nobody wants to pay for water that we have already at home for free, right? The other thing is that then you pay for the weight of the water with just a little bit of actual product. And we don't wanna pay for more things either. I don't wanna pay for water double, right? And so Young Living chooses to make almost all of our things a concentrate that is meant to be diluted. And so on Amazon, I bought this three pack of these, um, I think they were called empty shampoo pump bottles. Um, it's a 32 ounce and I split this into thirds. You can see I drew a line on mine. So I remember each time <laughs> what thirds were. And I took the sticker off and I put it on my bottle. <laughs> and so that's how this has the, the label that's on there. But you guys, this stuff lasts us over 10 months. And for a family of three boys, we go through a lot of laundry. And so this is not only going to just stretch it to where how it was created, but also stretch your dollars, which Again, I'm pretty frugal, so that's important to me. And I'm pretty sure it's probably important to you too. So here's some laundry DIYs. Take a screenshot of that. There's dryer sheet um, combos. You can replace those with a wool dryer ball. Um, and when you do that, I will tell you, sometimes natural things are different. There's not the harmful chemicals that's getting rid of the static. So here's my trick. You get wool dryer balls. I choose organic because I like to have high standards in my house. And you put a couple drops of essential oil on the wool dryer ball, and that gives you a little fresh scent. You can choose whatever scents you want. I put some nice combos on there that I found um, to be suggestions as good places for you to start. Um, so you have that on there too, but the trick is put a safety pin, attach a safety pin onto each of the wool dryer balls, and that will help to reduce your static which is kind of a fun thing. See, I've learned all these tricks along my journey um, and I'm hopefully sharing a lot of them with you tonight so that you can have an easier learning curve than I did. Um, I've used this laundry stain stick and it works wonders. I've gotten spaghetti stains out of my son's white sweatshirt. <laughs> um, so they're all really, really great recipes. So hopefully you've had a chance to get your screenshot of that one as well before we dive into the kitchen. So Andrea, I'm gonna let you do the next giveaway right now before I dive into the kitchen stuff. All right, perfect. Okay, so our first winner is Lisa P. Lisa P, if you would put um, your full name and your member number in the chat for us, that would be super helpful. Um, okay, so the second question is, what is one thing I've learned stuff? I've been doing this for 15 years and I've learned stuff tonight. So what is one thing you've learned so far during um, this workshop tonight? Throw that into the chat. All right, you are doing awesome, Shannon. Thank you so much. Back to you. All right, so kitchen. This was one of the things that I, like I'm sharing with you the order I did things. It's not the only way. 
you get to choose what's your top priority, but I'm sharing with you the order that I did things in. Um, and for me, it was more about what's the one thing I can start with that covers a lot of bases and then go from there. And so that's why I chose to start the way that I did. So kitchen came next for me um, and kitchen stuff. It's again, a thieves line of things. We have dishwasher powder. Um, I will tell you, use less than what's on the recommended side of there. I, I've been hearing that half a scoop is the best and that's what I've been doing and it works good. Um, dish soap, we have thieves dish soap, which we also dilute. Um, and I have a recipe coming up that will help you get more bubbles in that as well. The fruit and veggie spray and also the soap. I mean, there's so many things. We have hand purifier, there's thieves wipes. If you wanna buy them already made, I like to save money and so I DIY it myself. So I have that recipe coming for you on a slide. Um, but there's also in addition to cleaning things, we also have flour and spaghetti pasta and pancake waffle mix and granola that uses einkorn um, instead of the normal wheat and grains that we're used to that have been causing a lot of struggles for people in their wellness and in their digestion. And so maybe you wanna start with the kitchen. Maybe that's like your favorite room in the house and where you, you maybe you cook a ton and that's where you wanna start. So here are some things that you can do to start in the kitchen. Um, the Thieves Scrub is our newest addition to our Thieves line for the kitchen. It is one of my favorites. It is amazing and wonderful. So this is just three of the reasons why it is wonderful and we love it. Um, but I also have some before and after pictures for you of what the power that is really behind this one product. So here are my pans. It's a little embarrassing. <laughs> These are the pans that we got when we got married and I really don't like scrubbing. And so I've just never chosen to clean the bottoms of them. <laughs> and so they were black. They used to be copper. And I, once I used the um, kitchen and bath scrub on the inside, I thought, why not just give it a try? Let's see what happens. And you can see that it was helping to get rid of the black yuck that had been caked on there for, let's see, 15 years. <laughs> um, and so it just, it works so, so well. I use it in my toilet bowl. Um, I use it for the tile in the bathroom and the bathtub. I mean, I use it for so many things for my stove top. Um, it's just so amazingly wonderful. I used to have to do the overnight soak for my stove top because the seal was broken when and ruined when we moved in. Um, and now I just can take five minutes and use the kitchen and tub scrub and it does the trick, which is awesome. Here's some testimonials of the um, fruit and veggie soak. You can see how disgusting the water is from the grapes. You guys, if you are doing what I used to do and you're just rinsing your produce, you're going to want to add this to your list to do eventually or first, whatever your plan is, um, because it really makes a big difference. You can see the difference in the green on the broccoli too, how it gets rid of all the white and the yuck. That's the chemicals and yucky stuff. Um, it gets rid of that. It cleans that off. And so it really actually does wonders. My trick though, that you'll want to remember is you only soak for a couple minutes. If you soak too long, your food will taste like the thieves fruit and veggie soak. And it's not my favorite. <laughs> so only soak for a couple of minutes. <laughs> but here are those kitchen DIYs. I choose to make to make my own thieves wipes. Um, I also choose to have more bubbles in my dish soap. And so I do a DIY and I dilute it. Um, I add some baking soda and also a little bit of thieves cleaner to get more bubbles in my dish soap. But there's also some really fun holiday scents that you can do not only for your thieves cleaner, but also for your dish soap. So down there on the bottom for fall, you can add orange oil to it. For the spring, you could add bergamot. For summer, you can add luscious lemon. Um, or winter, you can add Christmas spirit. There's just so many, so many combos. You can make up your own too. Um, but when I make my own thieves wipes, I'm gonna show you, I, I need to make more. I didn't think I'd probably have time tonight to actually make them in front of you, but I figured I'd show you. I found this container that seals and closes at Walmart. Um, and I got the tall one so that I don't have to cut the recipe that I had. You had to cut the thing in half to put in a smaller container. And I just didn't want to do that. So <laughs> I did this tall container. I put the whole roll in there. I put all of the things that the recipe in there says in my glass dish. 
and I pour it in there. And I always try and get a little bit on the cardboard right in the center. And that's what makes it super easy to just pull it out. And as you pull the cardboard center out, they start coming out just like normal wipes that you would buy from the store. Um, I usually have to smush mine down once it's wet so that it will close, but super helpful. I have one of those in my kitchen. I have one of those in my bathroom. I do have um, the Young Living ones in my car just because I don't want to carry this Tupperware in my car. Um, so you can do either. You get to choose. That is the best thing about all of this is you get to choose what works best for you, your pace, which things you start with, how fast you go, how slow you go, you get to choose. You know yourself to know what pace you need so that you can be the most effective and without the overwhelm. So those are some fun recipes for you. I chose to do personal products last. Um, and it's just because it's a lot of things, <laughs> um, whether it's the things in your bathroom or it's the everyday Um I, I chose to do that last once I switched out to those, the other things in my home. You might choose to do it differently, um, but this is, you know, your makeup, your deodorant, your lotion, your shampoo, all of those things. And so um, I know Aaron a couple of weeks ago covered a lot of these things in his. So I encourage you, if you missed that, you can find all of the replays either on YouTube or in the living, the LWN lifestyle Facebook group. Um, so I'm just going to kind of put that out there. Those are the things um, for me. I did one item at a time when I ran out of my shampoo. I ordered a Young Living shampoo on my next one. When I ran out of my shower gel, I ordered that on the next one. Okay. You guys, it's, it's the slow and steady daily use of all of these chemicals that has the long-term harm. And so it's not that you have to throw everything out tomorrow. <laughs> You just want to take steps and start now. All right. So once you start replacing these things, the last step is really to just fully implement this awesome lifestyle of wellness that has purpose. It can give you a life of abundance and you can take full advantage of everything that Young Living has provided for us to make it easy, to have the easy button where we're not having to go to the to our regular store and search at every little thing um, that is out there on things. And so um, the, the greatest thing about this is that there are a couple ways that you can choose, like, okay, when you pick your room and all of that and how you're getting started, there's a couple bundles that are gonna make this so much easier for you, but also cheaper for you. And so this is how I chose to get started. This is how a lot of people choose to get started on their healthy home reno. Um, a lot of times that fragrance thing is first. And so we start with our oil bundle um, that is 165 and it comes with the beautiful, my favorite diffuser. You have your choice um, between two diffusers at this price point, but it comes with 12 of the oils that are most commonly used. In addition to you get a small um, hand purifier, a couple of things just to try and so many other like extra freebie, freebies. And so what I encourage you to do is to start with that bundle and then add the thieves bundle into your subscription, whether you do them all in the same order, whether your budget is you want to like start with more. Um, that's what I encourage you to do. The thieves bundle kind of gives you your thieves cleaner, some hand soap, toothpaste, which I love. And it's given me such great results with my gum health. Um, sanitize or not sanitizer, the thieves purifier. It also gives you thieves essential oil, just so much benefits to that. Um, but it's highly discounted. If you were to do one of these things at a time, it would cost a lot more than if you do these bundles. And so this is how most people choose to get started. Um, when this call is over, you are going to connect with the person that invited you. And I encourage you to create that plan and to decide what are the, what's, what's the area I want to start? What's the approach I want to do um, and have them help you decide what is the best fit for you. This is what I chose for me um, so that I could get started and have the least amount of, of work to do that all the things were already at my fingertips. And so I encourage you to look into these two bundles, um, or you can customize your own bundle. There are so many ways for you to be able to get started and to actually implement these three steps that we've covered today. And so I want to end by sharing with you a story of my dear friend, um, 
her, she's in my Bible study group and she had gotten to a point where she was really, really struggling, um, with inflammation. Um, she is a cancer survivor and was in the middle of her five-year treatment plan. Um, and just was feeling like the quality of her life was, was not okay with her. And so she decided to really start diving into both of these areas that I talked about tonight, her nutritional deficiencies, high quality supplements, and starting to switch out and get rid of the things that are causing harm to her body that was already struggling, but replacing them with a healthy home, a home filled with products that are not only not harming her but that are, are helping her and helping her body systems. She started using her essential oils for a lot of things. And, um, she, not only her lab results have increased where her body is absorbing nutrients a lot better, but she is feeling so much better that even the ladies in her Bible study, they're like, what is up with you? <laughs> Something's different. You're walking better. You're more cheerful. You're like, something is different and it has made such an impact in her life. And so if you are in that boat, whether it was like me with my son who were just struggling with so much sickness, um, or whether you want to provide that healthy home for you and your family so that you're not walking down that road that, that leads slowly and steadily to the things on that symptoms list that leads to bigger things. Um, but I encourage you to, to start to start today to make simple swaps. This there's the starter kit. Um, here's a little bit of details on that subscription program. Um, it's super awesome. I mean, you just, you need to do it. If you put your starter kit, your oil kit and your cart, and then you do your thieves thing in your subscription, the first three months of your subscription, you're going to earn 10% back. And so it's kind of like Cole's cash, right? You get reward points to redeem for a free product. After four months, you start earning 20% back. And then after 25 months, you start earning 25% back. So let's say you, you know, you spend a hundred, it's like getting a $25 gift card and reward points to get other things for free, <laughs> which frugal me loves that. <laughs> um, but in addition to that, you also get free gifts at your third month, your sixth month, your ninth and your 12th and every year after that. But they also have monthly promotions and gifts with purchase that get you more freebies. And so it's a must check the box, add it to your subscription. When you create your plan and you get your materials in place. Um, I just want to remind you that no swap is a small one. It's a step in the right direction. It's a step where you're heading that you want to go. That's going to really make a big impact in your life and natural products. They're going to have a little bit of learning curve, but you will be connected to our community that is going to walk this journey with you and give you tips and tricks and, and help you with every step of the way. And so we just invite you to connect with the person that you um, that invited you to come tonight and to really just make your health an investment. Um, take the time now so that you can be healthy later on, rather than later on, you have to make the time for your illness. And so Andrea, I know you probably want to close with the other giveaway. Um, and right after this, we are having a class. If you're like, I don't know, I don't know how I'm going to pay for this. There is an income opportunity for me. I fell in love with the products and I was telling my friends about it anyway. Um, and now I get to share all of this with you guys, which fills my cup more than you will ever, ever know. <laughs> um, and so if you want to stick around for the next hour, um, they are going to be sharing about what this income opportunity with Young Living is as well. So Andrea, I'm going to let you close it up for tonight. Bannon Baldrin. You just brought down the house, my friend, brought down the house. I love, I love what Carrie said. Let me find that again. If I wasn't already a member, I would immediately join. This class has been fantastic. <laughs> so, so good. And I loved, um, I just want to read these two stories really quickly from Lucinda and Becca. Lucinda said, um, woohoo, great story. I started with YL last June because I was sick and tired of feeling sick and tired all the time. And Lucinda, I know you've had an incredible journey of weight shedding um, I want to say around 30 or so pounds um, just from making some different choices and young living being a huge part of that. And Becca said, ditching the chemicals for natural products has helped my weight shedding journey. And I'm so much happier and healthier. We love 
hearing those stories. So thank you so much. This was an incredible class. Um, our second winner for tonight and, and for the first winner, Lisa, if you would grab the link, Julie Gerritsen put a link in the chat. It's a bit.ly link, LWM Promos 2022. So if you'd grab that and fill that out, that's gonna allow us to get our $20 product credit to you. And then our next winner, I don't know the name, it was iPad 2021. So whoever iPad, oh, it says Judy, iPad 2021 Judy, okay? Um, your, the thing you learned was about the, the pins on the dryer balls. So um, go ahead and grab, you grab that link as well that Julie Gerritsen put in the chat, fill that out. That's gonna be how we're gonna get the $20 product credit to both of you. All right, so we are gonna take just about 20 to 25 minutes to share a little bit about the income opportunity right now. And like Shannon said, if you're somebody who is loving these products, would already tell your friends and family about them because they're making a difference in your life, why would you not want to get paid for it? Why would you not want a second stream of income, right? So to me, it just made sense. Even before I got serious about building the business, which um, happened about 10 years ago, I was already sharing these products. As soon as I got my oils kit, I enrolled my mom because I was like, mom, you need this stuff. Like you need this in your life. And so she was my very first customer, even before I had decided I wanted to build a business. And so you too, those of you, especially if you're like, gosh, okay, like, yeah, Shannon, you just brought like all of these great ideas to me for saving money, but still I've got to convince my husband or I got to convince my wife. I think it's mainly women on this call. I got to convince my spouse that I am going to spend money with Young Living. Like they might not see this. They don't, might not understand this transfer buying thing. So I still got to convince them that I'm buying from a different, you know, like company. So this is a really amazing way to offset some of the cost even though it's really coming from your original budget, right? Um, to, to, to offset some of that cost by simply sharing something that you know is going to help to transform other people's lives. So that's what we're gonna talk about starting right now. I'm gonna stop the recording for this class.